Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product that was advertised to me on social media. Now, occasionally I like to do this, just uh, buy something that is continually advertised to me that, you know, it's kind of accurate that they should advertise to me because this is something I actually consume, which is coffee. Every day I will drink coffee in the mornings. Rarely do I drink coffee after the mornings, but every morning I just have at least one glass of coffee. This is Jot Ultra Coffee. And what makes it ultra, as you see the back, it says it is a 20 times concentrate. Add one tablespoon, eight ounces of water, milk, what have you. Ingredients, water, organic coffee, Refrigerator after opening, 150 milligrams of caffeine per tablespoon. Distributed by Jot, Boulder, Colorado, 80301. So, what this is is a super concentrated coffee. I'm not sure exactly how they do it. They're not very specific on their website how they do it. This is not sponsored by them, so I'm not getting anything from them. If you purchase them, this is just me reviewing it. On the website, they do show you can put a, they show them like putting over ice cream for like a, what they call like an, I think it's called like an affogato drink. Um, but we're just going to go with the two basic things eight ounces of water or milk or what have you. So I have in one cup eight ounces of hot water and this cup eight ounces of hot milk. Uh, they do not recommend that you just drink it straight. They say you can. It's just that since one tablespoon has the same amount of caffeine as a full glass of coffee. It's very easy to you know, go overboard. Oh, one thing I just noticed, you can't really see it just by looking at it. But like you can see kind of like bunny ears there. There is actually like a, a rabbit on the back there. Not sure how they got the name Jot, but they do say one Jot will do you on the website. So I'm guessing one Jot is one tablespoon of this. Typically what I do during the week is I drink uh, instant coffee. It's just I, I mix hot water with a scoop of the, the instant coffee. And then weekends I actually have uh, coffee beans, whole beans that I grind. And I currently am using a pour over method for coffee. But typically I just do that on the weekends when I have more time um, and I make my, uh, a bigger breakfast for myself or and or my family. But during the weeks when it's just me, I want to get that coffee quick. I want to get to work. So it's usually instant coffee. It comes with, when you buy it, it comes with this spoon. See right there. It says, fill just below brim. See where it takes you. Stainless steel, Japan. So without any further ado, I'm going to add a tablespoon to each one of these cups. It will be the equivalent of me drinking two cups of coffee. Pour it in there. Just below the brim. Now I'll pour that into the water. Very, very strong coffee smell. Same with this one. Just below the brim. Pour that into the milk. You can see on there that there's kind of a, a viscosity to it where it clings to that metal. Just going to dip it in the milk there just to get any uh, extra on there. Don't want to waste it. Shake it off. And we'll give it a little bit of stir with a spoon. So the milk one it says it's more, going to be more like a latte. I just uh, microwaved uh, eight ounces of milk for 30 second increments. Took about three times through to get it to a temperature that I thought it was hot enough. Okay. So as someone who typically drinks a lot of instant coffee, this does seem like it would be useful to me because you just, it's the same process where I add just uh, heat up some hot water and add it to the cup. 
This is black. Nothing to it besides water and the concentrated coffee. Smells like coffee. has a rich, full-bodied flavor. You can taste like a, a bit of like kind of fruity tannin type of flavors to it. Even, let me move this camera so you can see this. Even with uh, it watered down, that's still a very dark looking roast for coffee. Pretty impressed. I have a little bit of the sweetener that I use. This is a monk fruit sweetener. I'm just going to add a little bit to it to, to give it a taste because I wanted to taste it black with nothing in it, but I know some people like theirs with a little bit of sweetness to it. Now we have black with a little bit of sweetness. That's delightful. Mm. Very smooth. No bitterness at all. They say that this is uh, the, the way that they make this, they're able to get more out of a single bean than any other method. And they don't over extract it to get any bitterness out of it. Oh, man. That's really good. Let's try the one with hot milk, the latte. You can see it has a, a nice coffee beige to it. Just so you know, this one, this one is just all milk and a tablespoon. That's why it's so light. It's like all milk. It's rich. I used a whole milk. That's the milk that we have around the house because I have um, a three-year-old now. And, uh, you know, at that age, you're supposed to give him all the milk and proteins and fats that you can. And he's a small kid, so he needs uh, some something out of bounds. That's very rich. And I add a little bit of sweetener to this one as well. This is the one, the brand that I use, Lacanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. That is good. Rich, flavorful. I'm gonna add these two together. The one with the water and the one with milk. Because typically when I drink coffee, <clears throat> it's more a mix than anything. Not this like mix that I'm about to make, per se. It's usually all milk. Sorry. It's usually all hot water. And then like a, a, a little dab of milk or creamer. So this is closer, but not exactly. That's a good coffee. You could have told me this was a uh, brewed up by a professional barista. Mm. 
Jot Coffee. How much does it cost? For one bottle. And this is a 6.8 ounce bottle. They say that this can make, I think they said, 16 cups of coffee. Um, if you, there's also a shipping cost. If you buy more than one bottle, they automatically give you the free shipping. Uh, I think they're currently having a deal where it's free shipping just on one, but typically you need to buy two bottles at a time to get free shipping. Um, it's $48 for two, so you're not getting a discount on the price, but you are getting free shipping. If you get three, it's $68.40. That's a 5% savings plus free shipping. They all have a use-by date on them. This one is December 8th. Uh, but they say it's so good that it's never going to get close to that date before you use it. I don't think I'll have a problem either because this is really good. Um, I don't have any ice cream on me right now, but just tasting how rich and flavorful it is, I do think that might be something I want to try. A tablespoon of this over some nice rich vanilla ice cream. As a product, Jot. We're saying oh, 14 cups per bottle. It's right on the website I'm looking at. So you're taking 14 cups of coffee for $24. Okay, after doing some quick math, that is a dollar and 72-ish cents per cup of coffee. That's if you're just drinking it black with hot water. You know, you're already, you're already going to cost money for milk and sugar and stuff for regular coffee at home. So would a dollar and 72 cents be cheaper? Probably not. I'm guessing if you're doing a big pot of coffee or even instant coffee, you're getting probably a better price. But if we're talking premium coffee, a dollar 70 per cup, it's probably going to be something similar to what you're going to get at a coffee shop. And this concentrate is so rich, it probably would convince most people that it's from a nice uh, coffee shop. Don't know what kind of beans they use. I'm not sure the exact process, but what I can tell you is that Jot Ultra Coffee is rich, flavorful, goes well black, goes well with milk. Put a little sweetener in there. I don't know can't tell you much more than that I like it it's good stuff as far as coffee goes the only thing I have against it is it's a little bit pricey for single cups of coffee made at home I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of ten jot coffee ultra coffee I do recommend it and if you see jot coffee advertised to you on social media let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video so much that you bought jot coffee why don't you go and tell them that you saw it on my channel the fat hipster maybe they'll appreciate me for doing so um i think that's it jot coffee i like it see you later guys thumbs up subscribe all those things bye